Hey, I thought I'd make a quick video to show some camera tricks that I learned that can hopefully ease some frustration. I'm going to go through a few different things quickly. Um, creating a camera, moving it around, how to undo camera moves, which is different than a regular undo on in any software, so it's not intuitive. Um, creating a bookmark for your camera angles and locking and unlocking cameras. So hopefully this will help uh, clear some things up. So first of all, let's make a new camera. All you do to make a camera is go to create camera and these um, camera just creates a camera and camera and aim creates a camera plus a locator see my hand <laughs> that you can like animate the locator around and the the camera will always point at it but I've only had a few cases where I ever needed that so usually you're just going to create a camera um, come over here put it somewhere you can move it around like any other object and then to change cameras so that I'm now looking through that camera um, you can either go to this panel button and go to perspective and see that the camera that I made is called camera one so new cameras you create are going to be in this perspective menu and you can hit camera one and now I'm looking through that camera so any moves that I do is actually moving that camera around um, another way to change cameras is just to middle click on a camera in your outliner and drag it over and drop it. Now I'm looking through the perspective camera again. And you can see down here on the bottom, um, yours might not say this, um, but it by default it should say that. <laughs> you can turn that off though. So, um, Okay, so that's switching between cameras. So now how about undoing a camera move? So let's go back into our, our camera and say, say we set up this perfect little if I can okay whatever okay we're gonna come right in here say this is my okay say we get it perfect and this is this is the angle that I want right and so we're we're animating I I do something I'm just gonna do something in, bet in between that so I can show you what happens. So now, say I accidentally move because I forget I'm in my camera. Oh no, um, I thought this was the perspective mode but it's actually my camera. And I hit Control Z, it didn't undo the camera move. See how annoying that is? So what you do, and I, I hit Control Y to put that back. Control Y is redo. Control Z is undo. But for cameras, you hit the curly brackets. And I know that's weird, but look, I hit the curly bracket and it brought me back. So the backwards bracket and the forward bracket does redo. And sometimes this doesn't work. <laughs> so um, just be careful with it and try to not mess up your cameras. But it works and I can undo a few times and then it kind of goes into a loop where I end up back Maybe because this is a new scene, then it brought me all the way to the end. So let's see if I go all the way to the end here. Okay. So I think this was my angle. So when you create a camera, what you really want to do is lock your cameras because then you won't accidentally move it. So say this is, I'm just going to double check, make sure I am have my camera selected. Um, what you can do to make sure that it's selected is grab this little camera icon right here and it'll grab the camera that you're looking through and then hit this little lock button right next to it and see over here in the uh, channel box it locked the translations and rotations on the camera so now if I try I'm trying to see all the buttons down here that I'm pushing um, trying to rotate around and move around and it's not doing anything so that has saved me a lot just locking cameras um, you can also 
I'm just like my camera, unlock it. Um, one more thing you can do, say you're in your perspective mode or something, some camera, and you, for some reason, you like some angle that you're doing, you're working on something, and you want to be able to get back to that, but you don't want to have a dedicated camera for it, you can actually create a bookmark. So to do that, go to View, Bookmarks, and go to Edit Bookmarks. I'm going to just name this. We'll call this Rooftop 1. And you can add a description. Nice angle for the roof. And hit New Bookmark. Close. So now I can move around and I don't even have to undo to get there. I can just go back to view, bookmark, and see it added rooftop one uh, to my list here. Just click it and it brought me back. So, did I cover everything that I said I would? We created a camera, moved it around, changed cameras by dragging them, um, created bookmarks, and did undo. So again, the big question was how to undo and redo camera moves and that's the curly brackets so if you get anything from this just remember that and that might save from some frustration in the future so i hope that was helpful and i'll see you in the next video